So Maasai funding has been invaluable for us because it's given us the freedom and opportunity to explore a new methodological approach in our work looking at how physical environments impact human well-being. I'm a psychologist so typically I've always relied on methods like surveys and experiments to collect my data but through this Maasai project we've been able to work with and learn from colleagues in other disciplines around how we can make use of art workshops as a way of getting our participants to visually show us what their environments for well-being look like. And this has been fantastic because on the one hand we have this really unique source of data in the form of these artworks, but also it turns out this process of engaging in the workshops has been really fun and rewarding for the people taking part in our research. So often when we're gathering data it's quite a one-way process. We're asking our participants to give us information and not giving them much back. But here we've been able to put on an activity that's actually been something that can boost their well-being as well. And this is definitely something that I want to take forward into future work. Maasai funding um, really has given us agency to take risk um, and use creative methods to collect data in a different way. But it only really worked because we were encouraged to look beyond our own discipline and work with other great people across the university who um, have the skills that we don't. And as a PhD student, um, I'm aware of how unique that is to have an opportunity like that, to work in this way at such an early stage in my career.